Mathematics crossing your eyes? Maybe Pocket Ronnie can help you. We're going to be doing AAS and ASA proofs. AAS means angle, angle, side. ASA means angle, side, angle. So let's just say I have these two triangles. Let's just say that this angle is congruent to this angle. Okay, let me grab my red. You can see it better. So let's say that this angle is congruent to this angle. Then we're going to say that this angle is congruent to this angle. And this side is congruent to this side. I now can prove by angle, side, angle, because there you have an angle, side, angle, that these two triangles are congruent. The important thing is the side, for, to use ASA, your side has to be in between the two angles. Angle, side, angle. The side has to be in between the two angles. If you want to use angle, angle, side, let's just say that this side wasn't congruent. Let's now say that this side was congruent. Now you use angle, angle, side. You use angle, angle, side when the side is not in between the two angles. So to prove these two triangles congruent, we'll be using AAS because there's your side. Okay, let's look at some examples of these. And let's look at 25A, 9 through 16. We have this triangle right here, or these two triangles. And our given statement, remember the first thing you want to do is look at your given. Okay, the first thing we are told is line segment AD bisects angle BAC. Now remember, it, right now the only thing we can mark is the fact that it bisects BAC. We shouldn't mark anything else except for that. So after we look at the givens, you want to mark your picture. So AD bisects this angle right there. That means that this angle is congruent. This angle right here is the one that's bisected. So these two angles are congruent to each other. The next thing that we are given is that angle ABD is congruent to angle ACD. So follow ABD. So ABD is congruent to ACD right there. And then the other thing that we know from our drawing, this line is the same in both triangles. So this line is essentially congruent to itself because of reflexive property. And if we just look at one of our triangles, we can say, we, we can see that we can prove these two congruent by angle, angle, side. Because our side is not in between the two angles. So I know I'm going to prove these two triangles congruent by angle, angle, side. Now I need to make a statement for everything that is in my picture. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prove that triangle ADB is congruent to ADC and that will be my last statement. So now I need to put in my statements and my reasons. The first thing that I always want to say is my givens, okay? So first off, I'm going to say that line segment AD is congruent or AD bisects angle BAC why it was given okay the next thing that I'm going to say is angle A B D is congruent to angle A C D how do I know that it was given okay this is one of my angles I need to make a statement for everything that I have in my picture okay from the given statement that line segment AD bisects angle BAC, we can now make the statement that this angle and this angle are congruent to each other. So we need to make this statement. Angle BAD, this angle right here would be BAD. So angle BAD is congruent to CAD. Remember we say in the same order, angle, this point B would correspond to point C. So if we're going to say B, A, D, then we need to say it in the same order, C, A, D. Remember you want to say them 
in the corresponding order. Okay. Why did we know that those two were congruent? Because definition of bisector. We were told that that angle was bisected. Okay, so that's one of my angles. Now I've got to make a statement for my side. Okay, because I have to say I have to state everything that's in my picture. So I can say that line segment AD is congruent to line segment AD. Why? Because of the reflexive property. That is my side. So I have now made a statement for all of my angles and all of my sides. So now I am ready to make the statement that the two triangles are congruent. Triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC. Why? Because of the angle angle side postulate. Okay, then in your uh, questions, the next question asks you is. AB congruent to line segment AC. Is line segment AB congruent to line segment AC? Once you have proven that two triangles are congruent, then every part of their pieces are congruent. Okay? Because it's asking is AB congruent to AC? Because now I have made the statement that these two triangles are congruent, then all of their other parts are congruent. So we can say yes, that those line segments are congruent, and then it asks why. Well, there's a statement that's called CPCTRC. That stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, here's your C, P, C, T, R, instead of A, C. That means that once you show that your triangles are congruent, all of the other corresponding parts are also congruent. So we can say that line segment AB is congruent to line segment AC by CPCTRC. Okay, we're looking at 25D, 1 through 11. We have this figure right here drawn. And then we are given that KZ bisects angle JKX and angle XZJ. Meaning that this line bisects this angle and it bisects the bottom angle. We are told that, so we can mark both of these that they are bisected. The one thing that I want to point out in this problem, what we are trying to prove is that one line segment is congruent to another line segment. But before, what you are trying to prove will always be the last statement. But if you are not, if what you are trying to prove is not one triangle to another triangle, you still have to say the triangles are congruent in your statements and reasons before you can make this statement. Okay, maybe you'll understand that here in just a minute. So let's go back to the givens of what we are um, told. Okay, so in our givens, we are told that KZ bisects angle JKX. So KZ bisects JKX, which means that those two angles are congruent. We are also told that KZ bisects XZJ. So this line segment bisects XZJ which means that these are also congruent. Remember, I'm using different markings, so I don't think that everything is congruent. The other thing that I know is that KZ is itself in both triangles. So KZ is congruent to itself because of reflexive property. If I only look at one triangle, I now can see I can prove these two congruent by ASA, angle, side, angle, because my side is in between the two angles. Okay, now I am ready to make statements for all of this information. Okay, I always start with the given. So I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna, well, I don't have to number it. Well, it's okay, I'm just gonna number it. It's probably not numbered the same way as the Matthew C pages blanks, but that's okay. So KZ. 
KZ bisects angle JKX and angle XZJ. Why is that? That was given. Okay? From that information, I haven't listed anything about two angles being congruent. So I can't, I don't have anything else other than that. Now, because of that information, I now can say this angle is congruent to this angle. So I now say JKZ, that this angle is JKZ. So angle JKZ is congruent to, if I'm going to say J first, I should say X first because J corresponds with X. X, K, Z. That's that angle right there. X, K, Z. So angle X, K, Z. Why were those two things congruent? Because of definition of bisector. Because it was bisected. Okay. Now I can make the statement for the bottom angle. So that's, that's an angle. Now I can make the, the statements for these bottom two angles. So now I'm going to say J, Z, K. So angle J, Z, K is congruent to X, Z, K. Angle X, Z, K. Why? Because of definition of bisector. Okay? That was another angle. So now I've got to do my side. So line segment KZ is congruent to itself in both triangles. Why? We call that the reflexive property. That was my side. Now I can make the statement that the two triangles are congruent. So triangle JKZ, triangle JKZ is congruent to triangle XKZ. Why? Because of ASA. But was that what we were asking to prove? No. We were asking to prove that one line segment is congruent to another line segment. But before you can say that, you have to make the statement that the two triangles are congruent. And the only time you, the only time you use ASA or AAS or SAS is when you are saying that two triangles are congruent. So now that we know that two triangles are congruent, now we know that KJ is congruent to KX, okay? Because if these two triangles are congruent, then every other part of them has to be congruent. So we can say KJ is congruent to KX. Why? That was the reason of CPCTRC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Let me make a note. You cannot use CPCTRC until you have proven the two triangles are congruent. Once you prove the two triangles are congruent, then you can make the statement that every other part of the triangles are congruent by corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Okay, if you happen to be in one of my classes, then this, is, this problem is from your worksheet and it's number five. So we have this figure and then we look at the givens. Our given is that line segment TU is congruent to WU. That means this is congruent to that. Then, I need that. Then we see that line segment, oh, I'm sorry, that's an angle, that's not line segment. Then we see that angle T is congruent to angle W. So that's angle T is congruent to angle W. Then you look at the picture and ask yourself, is there anything else that I know just given from the picture? Here we have vertical angles. So these two vertical angles are congruent to each other. These two angles are congruent because they are vertical. Remember, use a different marking. So from the picture, looking at one triangle, you see we have angle, side, angle. So we can prove these two triangles congruent by angle, side, angle. Remember, look at what you're trying to prove. You are trying to prove that line segment TS, TS is congruent to WV. You cannot make a statement to prove those until after you prove these two triangles are congruent by ASA. 
So the very first thing you have to do is prove the two triangles congruent by ASA. So let's put everything into our statement and reasons. Okay, one other thing I also want to point out in this picture, you cannot assume that these lines are parallel unless the problem tells you so. Do not assume that they are parallel and that these are transversals because it is not in the given. So from our, we can make our statements are given. Line segment TU is congruent to line segment WU. Why? Because that is given. The next statement we can make is the other given that angle T is congruent to angle W. Why? Because it is given. Okay, we've done all of our given, so there is a side and there is an angle, so we need to do our other angle, our vertical angles. Instead of just saying angle U is congruent to angle U, my recommendation is to label them with three letters. Your angles should be three letters, S, U, T. So we're going to say angle S, U, T is congruent to, well, which point corresponds to F? S. If you were to rotate this triangle around, V would correspond with S. So if I'm going to say S, U, T, then I should say V, U, W. Angle V, U, W. Okay. Why were these two angles congruent? Because of vertical angles. Okay. That is my other angle. I have now listed off my angle, my side, and my angle. So I'm now ready to make the statement that triangle SUT is congruent to, and I'm going to start with S, then I start with V, then triangle VUW. Why are these two congruent? Angle side, angle postulate. But that's not what I'm trying to prove. But I must prove the two triangles before I can say that line segment TS is congruent to line segment WV. Now that I have proven that these two triangles are congruent, all the rest of their parts are congruent. So now we know that TS is congruent to VW or WV because we've already proven that the two triangles are congruent. And the reason that these are congruent to each other is for, because of CPC TRC. Congruent parts or corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. The reason this is congruent is because we've already proven that the triangle is congruent and so now all of its parts are congruent. It is very important to state again, you must prove that the triangles are congruent before you use CPCTRC.